Hello, my name is Miguel Varela and I'm a PhD student. And in the next few minutes, I'd like to present to you the paper that I have co-authored with Miguel Vicente Marino. In this paper, we look at Instagram, the go-to visual social media for millions of people around the world. And specifically, we discuss one option for obtaining images from Instagram and its ethical and technical implications. There are an estimated 95 million photographs uploaded to Instagram every day. They touch on politics, memes, food, fitness, health, or the ongoing pandemic, among many others. For us, social researchers, the emergence of social media and its algorithms has been characterized as era-defining. Examples of research using social media images and text abound, especially when it comes to political communication, polarization, or cultural studies more generally. Work on Instagram, however, has been greatly affected by the Cambridge Analytica controversy, leaving most Instagram research limited or moving in gray areas, legally speaking. But that doesn't mean that the work has stopped. Instagram continues to be used as a source of information on how we communicate the COVID pandemic, for instance, how we consume, or how we perceive risk associated with other conditions. Largely, researchers have either sought to establish partnerships with Facebook or have used brute force. This particular study uses a tool called Instaluter that is precisely the object of our study. Instaluter is a computer program. Technically, it is a scraper. It's worth noting that this type of tool breaks the rules of Instagram, and it is not our aim to encourage you to break such rules, but simply to highlight how easy it is to implement such an approach and the gap that exists in current research. To do so, we walk the reader through three simple steps. We begin with the tools that are necessary and how to set them up. We continue by looking at how to define a search query, which is the same as saying how to design our research. This is the part that is most closely tied to research processes. So we advise readers to follow existing approaches, like the one you see on the screen. This type of tool can generally perform searches for accounts, dates, and hashtags, which are the basic categories we would use. We illustrate this work with two examples. One comes from the field of peace and conflict studies, where we explore the use of Instaluter to obtain images surrounding a mass protest. The second one is an example on how researchers could use Instaluters to study the perception of our own university's responses to the COVID pandemic and how students perceive that response. Once the queries are defined, all we need to do is run the code. And the result is often thousands of images collected in a matter of minutes. Clearly, this method speeds up the process of image obtention greatly. It is an opportunity to facilitate work and empower researchers in keeping up with the speed of image production. But it is not without limitations. Nothing guarantees that Instaluter will be maintained. It doesn't provide for complex queries such as crossing hashtags, and it is not a solution for the process prior to the query. Perhaps more importantly, however, there are ethical constraints. To begin with, if you use Instaluter, you would be breaking the terms of use of Instagram. Beyond that, however, there are questions of ownership, questions of agency, questions of the very meaning of being a participant in such a study, or questions of what happens when you bring in commercial outfits into your research. We are certain that digital methods will continue being a core part of our work, especially now that we live in a pandemic and we have to work from home. As we continue to grow in this field, we want to spark a discussion on what options there are for social researchers to use tools that can amplify their work while protecting their participants and avoiding falling into legal pitfalls. I hope to hear from you. I hope you have great discussions and I thank you very much for your attention. Goodbye.